Hi guys. So, I've finally managed to make it out. Sorry about last week that I didn't get out and get a video done. Work's been a bit of a nightmare. We've had two people leave and I've been doing uh, loads of overtime. It's good in the sense that, you know, I'm gonna get more pay, but yeah, paying for you trying to get out and uh, film videos. Anyway, you can see how well you can see that new axe mask that I've made. You'll have probably, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you'll have seen that. Uh, quite pleased with that. Show you a bit better in a minute. So the plan for today is get the top up on this and try and get as much of the bed done as possible. It's just after 10. Uh, got to about three-ish, depending on the light. But so I've got a good spate of time. So I've got a tarp here, which is going to be a permanent one. It just says it's water resistant, dual protection. Uh, but that's the tarp. It is 2.4 by 3 meters. So I have adjusted the pole on that. Um, just simply because of the tarp. That's uh, the only one I could get today in a short sort of time frame. But anyway, let's get on with this and I'm going to start hooking up some stuff to get rid of the pokies. Nice axe mask. Uh, bag nice and safe. This is what I mean by pokies. I want to uh, make sure that nothing's going to be able to poke through on the top. So I just go around and clean all, all these up. I need another rib. I might need a few actually. To stop it from the top from sagging in the middle. That was the So that's naturally going to want to sit like that, but I'm going to sort of, I don't need it to be that long actually, it needs to be about, round about there, I'll not cut it off yet, I'll just tie that off in the middle. Tops up, and I think it's time for a brew. Cheers guys. Oh, a bit warm. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely day. The sun's out for a change. The weather's been pretty uh, rough these past few days, uh, well, this past few weeks even. We've had quite a bit of rain. We do need it though. If we're not gonna uh, get a drought next year. Or a proper drought. Uh, 
So yeah, it's good to be out, especially after this uh, past couple of weeks, we're just working non-stop. So I've got today off. I've actually got a day in the, during the week as well off, which I'm going to try and do one last thing to Land Rover. I do have it back now from the workshop. It's had a brand new, well, it's had a new transfer uh, box fitted and the transmission has been completely rebuilt. Yeah, all the clutch, apparently all the clutch plates were pretty much knackered. Um, yeah, so it's been rebuilt, but it's working. You know, it's nice to have drive. Well, it had drive, it could go forward in first and second. Third were a bit ropey. Um, reverse was non-existent. So, uh, yeah, anyway. So, so that, there's one last thing I've got to do is uh, change the radiator. Because, um, as you know, the last time I went up to Scotland I had an overheating issue. The cold weather has been helping with that. But, yeah, it still overheats. Um, so I've gone through the hoses, changed the... Uh, Thermostat, that's the word I'm looking for. Ugh. Now moving on to the radiator. Uh, if that's not it, then it's going to be the water pump. I know it's not the gas uh, head gasket and it's not the cylinder head, because there's nothing coming out of the ex uh, exhaust. Uh, in terms of, there's no steam coming out of the exhaust. So hopefully the radiator will be that, it'll be it. Luckily on Land Rover's radiators are actually quite cheap, brand new, so. I've got a new smaller billy can as well. This one does have the plastic clips on it. I'm gonna have a go at making some metal clips. Uh, Cause that 16 centimeter one, I did order this one from Firebox, but they did send me the 16 meter one, uh, 16 meter, 16 centimeter one for some reason and the faff that it'll be sending it back to the US I'll use it, it will get used because um, it'll be good for boiling up large amounts of water and and stuff when I'm out particularly if I'm up in Scotland and I want you know water for the day now I can boil up a good amount of water um, but this is a nice size for for brew, you know, for doing a brewing or doing a small uh, small meal. I was tempted with the 10 centimeter one, but I think it was just a tiny bit too small. I think. So that's all part of reducing my pack size. You see, I use the gas stove today. Ugh. I, I was, I mean, I was tempted to use my firebox stove the new five box stove but um, I mean I could process wood then uh, get some dry dry wood but you know I sort of want to more concentrate on this today there's not a not that many daylight hours you know because we're approaching the winter solstice and although we don't get the cold like they do in sort of like on in Europe and in um, Russia, Canada and, and like Alaska but we're on the same sort of lat latitude as um, mid Canada um, and so sort of like parts of Alaska so yeah we don't get the temperatures that they get but we do get really short days um, with daylight savings and stuff, I mean, all right, it gets light about eight o'clock in the morning where I am, and then, but yeah, come half past three, it's it's pretty much dark. If it's really overcast, then you're talking three o'clock at this time of year. What, 53 degrees north? Yeah, 53 degrees north. In fact, 53 degrees north, I think we're about 1.2 degrees west. So you know roughly where I am. 
if you can work out latitude and longitude. loads of them uh, managed to find this uh, sycamore it's like pretty much like maple uh, I've said before, I don't mind taking this, it's an invasive species here and all around this area um, a lot of the woodland management have been removing these out anyway so trying to thin it back so sort of give him a helping hand benefit with this, it grows straight so it's pretty good for what I need it for, for making this bed. Oh. Stand up a minute. Whew. There's actually not much left. Maybe two or three. We'll see how it goes. work. Hopefully, that is all the slats we need. Yeah, hopefully, that is all the slats we need. Oh, it's cold up there. Oh, nice bit of springiness. I'm going to find out. I need to put stakes at either end before it's finished. could do with one more at each end and that should be good. Oh you know what? Tell you what, don't underestimate actually how much hard work it is cutting up all these. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. 
31 slats. Alright, some of them are like the ends and the beginnings, but this, this is a bit of what's been what was laying around that was pretty good, so like that was some stuff off my uh, wall that I had around there. Uh, and there's a couple of other bits that are thick enough that they're all right. They're, you know, they haven't rotted too badly. They just started to, like spalting more than anything, so they'll be good. But yeah, it's what time is it? I know it's brew time. I'll tell you that much. 20 past 1. It's actually not bad going. I'm half wondering whether I can get. Because I want to close that side in. Uh, that side might leave open. Though, I'm not sure which side I'm going to be end up sort of laying. No, I instinctively went to lay that way. I suppose it depends on which sleeping bag I bring, because I want to be able to fling it out to the back. So I've got some of the left and some of the right ended zips. But yeah, not too bad. Nice and springy. Oh man, it's dropping cold. So that's going to be it. I'm not going to be doing any more today. Time's getting on. Uh, just after that little brew break, it's like three o'clock already. So I think the war, um, I'll do that next time. I Hopefully, I'll get out and actually do a camp next time we get here. Um, so I'll do that wall, and that'll be about it. You know, it's, there's things that I can improve on all the time. I say I wanted to try and enclose the space a little bit more, um, particularly on sort of like that side. Uh, but yeah, that'll that'll come eventually. But the the shelter as such is is done. I just need to finish up the bed a little bit by pegging it at the ends, stop any other logs rolling away. But oh, yeah, really cynical. Light's fading pretty quick as well now the ISO turn right up. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you have, click like. Uh, if you're new to the channel, press subscribe, maybe watch you know the the, uh, the previous two videos while while I've been out here. It's uh, it's been good being able to get more time getting up here early now I've got my landing. Um, so yeah. Just need to get out in camp now. Whoa. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like, you know, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Um, so we're on track to get 3,400 subscribers by the end of the year. It would be nice. So yeah, keep it coming, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.